You can say what you want about this conclusion. Not really, but uh, in the end, uh, what is happening is uh, forgiven for a beautiful music score in my book. And also, you should also look at it in a different way. The main villains are not just going to be defeated just like that. And by the way, it is not just like that. How difficult is it for people to understand that? Well, regardless, this is the Angry Anime Fan The Despair Reaver. And yes, this is Fairytale episode of the final series 46. A little late here, but again, circumstances. In this situation, the Ilushi tries to rewrite the E and D book in order to, well, save Natsu. So, in order, in her own words, by rewriting the words that Natsu will not be connected by the book, therefore not the demon anymore, he will become his own soul. And by rewriting the book, she also saved Natsu's life. However, by rewriting it, the enormous heat flames and the demon of the E and D is infecting Lushi, causing her intense heat and pain. So, Grey creates his cool in order to uh, cool down the heat that is burning in her body as she begins to write. In a way, all two of the comrades are joining together. Natsu gets up back and challenges once again his older brother to a fight. Elsewhere in the situation though, Christina, is f the flying ship, is faced with the, the problem of Acnologia, who despite Yelal's attempts cannot be held back. After all, Acnologia is a magic devouring dragon. So, uh, Acnolog so as Acnologia gets more and more powerful from the devouring magic of Jelal, Jim, Ichiga and um, Anna s sends everyone on the ship away as uh, they use the full throttle of the Christina to ram Acnologia into the space sphere, sacrificing themselves, or have they, into that sphere. I have to say, the music that is played here is very beautiful. It fits that sad tone of the people who have watched them doing all that. Another beautiful score is that we once again hear the last magic music, though. One of the great, one of the best, uh, or not uh, the last ma magic, maybe it's the fairy tale theme, but one of the best themes of the fairy tale. As Natsu keep on saying that, that Serif is denying this world, Serif keeps getting more and more angry. With that, they cheer, they face off one final one, Natsu burning the fire of his friends as Seraph creates the darkness that is his hate. And with that, they clash one more time, but Natsu's flames are now, um, uh, are now so powerful that it even burns off the flames of, um, that it burns off the flames um, of Seraph magic, Knock, uh, knocking him out. It doesn't kill him immediately. After all, Seraph says that uh, um, the, that it has only temporarily stunned him and the Seraph will eventually regenerate him. But it's during this time that Mavis returns. Although very weakened, she approaches Seraph as Natsu says farewell to his brother because she said she had the ways to defeat Seraph. Well, what that is, uh, we may not find out until next week, I guess. But Seraph, for the first time, was briefly knocked out, meaning that his magic was not infinitive. And did truly the Dragon King just get stuck in the time zone? No, definitely not. It's not all the fact that people are still complaining over the fact that Acnologia is an overpowered villain and not like that. No, I just feel like... If Acnologia is going to be defeated, he's not going to be defeated by just ramming into a space-time continuum. No, he's going to be defeated by the power of friendship. And I'm not saying that with complaint in my voice! I'm actually just saying that because that's how Fairytale is. So, people sh so if Acnologia returns, people should just stop complaining. Besides, even if they do ram him into the end of time, it's still magic, right? Acnologia is magic. Of course, that doesn't exactly answer how Acnologia can be defeated. Although I do think that if you are devoured time magic, maybe your soul and spirit will become a little bit weird. Who the hell cares? Either way, Seraph is defeated. Almost. A tragic character. For some, just a very lame villain. 
I mean, granted, I may argue that yes, he may have not been the greatest of villains, but his uh, cynicism, his apathy, and many things more, I de deeply relate to that, because I feel that way too about the world. And, and people complain that despair drives people insane or lame characters, but it's just that. There is one famous character that has also been the same, and you don't complain a single bit about him. So I feel like uh, despair driving a villain insane is actually a very good fit. But again, Seraph is just knocked out, not defeated. But I have a feeling he will be next week. And again, the most beautiful things about this episode wasn't the fights, or but uh, the Lucy and Grace working together to say not so. That was a very sweet friendship moment. But the music score in these situations, yeah, they were perfect. Give me your choice if you have any.